The full title Courbet gave to this work is The Painter's Studio, a real allegory summing up seven years of my artistic and moral life. And it sums up his intentions. In short, we can see Courbet in the center, his friends and supporters on the right, and representatives from everyday life on the left. So what is the allegory? Courbet was the leader of a new art movement called Realism. He was interested in realistically painting the life of peasants and workers. In the center, we see Courbet painting an unidealized landscape. He ignores the nude woman behind him as she is representative of the academic art. Instead, he values the opinion of a young boy who is not preoccupied with the traditional ideas of what art should look like. And what is the role of all the people on each side? On the left are people from all walks of life, like poor people, rich people, a priest, a hunter, and a merchant. And in between them are various attributes, like a guitar, a dog, and a dagger, all symbolic items that had no place in the realist vision of Courbet. And on the right are his shareholders, including well-known writers, artists, and friends. But he ignores them all, as Courbet is an independent artist who just wants to paint reality as he observes it. The painting is quite different from a burial at Arnaud in his other works. That's right. Courbet instead used his painting to communicate his artistic vision to a large audience. Mm -hmm.